All right, so here we have a Seagate hard drive that uh, is no longer working, uh, to say the least. Uh, it's not making any clicking noises. The computer's just not picking it up at all anywhere in the system. I'll go ahead and turn on the computer. We could hear the hard drive spinning up. Uh, but it's not making any clicking noises or anything like the moving parts are broken. So as we can see that the computer is having a hard time even bringing up the post screen. Uh, this is common when you have a failed hard drive or any other internal PC equipment. So there's a post screen. Go ahead and hit delete to get into BIOS. And as you can see, uh, it's not even want to load the BIOS because the hard drive is broken. All right, go ahead and turn off the computer and we'll start the repair process. All right, so since we're not able to hear any uh, clicking noises or anything, it, uh, it doesn't sound like there's actual damage to the moving parts on the inside. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna replace the PCB that controls the hard drive. And if you look closely at it on the underside, sometimes you can see uh, right here it looks like it got burned a little bit or, or the maybe part of the, the board is fried. Uh, <clears throat> this is common when you're running them as a RAID 0. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take this off and swap it out with a new one or uh, used whatever as long as it's working. To do this we'll take a T6 screw screwdriver and we're going to take out all six of the screws that we can see right here. Okay, once we've removed all the screws, uh, the PCB should just lift right off, just like that. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side, removing both the uh, PCB and the little piece of foam. All right, now we'll go ahead and take our new or working PCB, uh, make sure that the foam piece is in the right place, so that way it doesn't jam up the screws and it doesn't... Uh, get fried because of contact where somewhere it shouldn't be contacting. All right. we'll go ahead and just line the PCB up into position here. And then we're going to go ahead and put all six of the screws back in the same place that we took them out. Right. once we've done this, we'll be ready now to plug it back into the computer and see if it works. Okay, now keep in mind this may or may not be a permanent fix, uh, considering we don't know what actually caused the PCB to fail. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and power on the computer and see if it works.
PC still took a little bit of time to get to post, so there possibly could be some internal damage still. Uh, for now, let's see if we could just get into the BIOS and see if the computer is reading. All right. So there you have it. Uh, looks like the hard drive is being picked up by the computer, uh, and it should be working now, and you should be able to recover your data. I recommend once you get it started, uh, just copying the data onto a new hard drive and going from there.